So today we are going to look in more detail at the animal kingdom. Now the animal kingdom can, it's one of the five different kingdoms um, and it can be split into two main categories which is that of vertebrates and those of invertebrates. Now vertebrates are those that are identified or classified by having a spine or a backbone. Invertebrates don't have a spine or a backbone. The vertebrate group can be further split up into uh, five more categories um, and those are of the mammals, the birds, reptiles, fish and amphibians and each of those um, different groups they have characteristics that are unique to those groups so that will help us as scientists to classify um, different animals into those groups and if we come across something we don't know then we can work out what sort of a animal it is or what sort of a vertebrate it is by looking at those different features. Mammals are classified by having hair or fur, um, by feeding their young by milk and being warm-blooded and the word that we use for that is endothermic. Endothermic is another word for warm-blooded. Birds are classified by having wings, a beak, their feathers, they lay eggs which are hard-shelled eggs and they are also endothermic meaning warm-blooded. Reptiles are classified or distinguished by their leathery thick skin if they have limbs, then they are outward facing. Um, an example of that would be with a crocodile or a lizard, their limbs are outward facing. They also lay eggs, but these ones have a leathery shell. And these ones are ectothermic. So reptiles are cold blooded animals, ectothermic. Fish have scales, they have gills, um, they live in water. They also lay eggs and these are jelly-like eggs and they are also cold-blooded, ectothermic. And last but not least, amphibians. Amphibians are characterised by their moist skin, they lay jelly-like eggs, they can also breathe through their skin and they are also cold-blooded animals, so they are ectothermic. Now there are four main groups of amphibian and those are frogs, toads, salamanders and newts. So just to recap, uh, the animal kingdom that can be uh, further split up into vertebrates and invertebrates and looking in detail at the vertebrates, there are five main groups of vertebrates. Those are mammals, birds, reptiles, fish and amphibians. We can classify them based on their distinguishing characteristics.